and Andre Parandu. From Canada, 15 year old Victoria, 17 year old Andre Parandiak. This is their first international competition. They're coached by Milan Gerard, skating to I've Got an Angel and Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. Dynamic finish to a wonderful piece of music for the brother and sister team Victoria and Andre Karandiuk from Canada, the 2023 Canadian novice silver medalist competing in their first year as juniors. Yeah, this was interesting. I saw this team and they interviewed this team actually at the Next Gen Camp in Canada in the summer. I think getting this assignment was a bit of a surprise and, and such an honor. They had a good skate at the Next Gen Camp, came here and, you know, maybe you know, this is a learning opportunity and experience for them. So a little bit nerves perhaps in, in the beginning, uh, but uh, certainly experience game. Let's take a look at some of the elements here, Mark. And they chose to take the Rocker Fox shot. It was actually Andre that started. They put the second sequence of the Rocker Fox shot first. This now, interesting, I don't think that leg position would be callable by the panel not open enough in the coupe. I suspect, and then there were some problems a little later for Victoria in the Group C feature. This the third twizzle. She bobbled a little bit, so you can just see there she did well not to go down. And the you know can't underestimate the enormity of the occasion. You know, long travel, lots of pressure. Coming from such a strong skating nation as Canada, they will have been eager to represent the nation well and I think they've done that this was the highlight element for me the straight line left change of pose and the, the one foot as a difficult exit feature for Andre as well that was really well done yeah and I think for a lot of these teams or for a number of these teams and skaters it's get out on the circuit and get some experience it's not about coming here to win it's coming here and learn how to travel around the world get on the ice in a different environment a different culture a different temperature 
and uh, learn to compete. And so that's where this team is at. This is new to them, and this is their first experience. Gosh, how proud their parents must be. Must be imagine what, watching one child compete must be scary to have two. <laughs> yeah, interesting to have the brother and sister, your, both your kids at an international event, you know, halfway around the world or more than halfway around the world. And uh, interesting to watch, be able to watch back home and great pride and emotion. I often talk about the parents mm. because we don't really talk about them very much, but I can't imagine. Well, I know what it's like when you watch your own child perform. It's a completely different feeling than just watching and assessing other skaters. And so, you know, big shout out to the parents for all the work and support they've given mm. to all their kids throughout their lives so far and will continue to do so and to watch them online or on television performing a great moment of pride no question you know the, the sacrifices the parents make to be able to facilitate these skaters pursuing their dreams is just humongous yep and you know you wouldn't have it any other way as a parent it's just something you don't have mm. to think about it's just innate in you to do and when you have your children you want the very best for them and you do everything you can sometimes we do too much for them sometimes we don't do enough for them. <laughs> it's a little bit up and down and sliding scale but your love is so intense that you only want the best of course and interesting topic 39.45 for victoria and andre their debut on the junior grand prix circuit that'll put them currently into sixth place that's okay experience gained you'll go home and you say i want to be better next time out that's why you're here, to gain experience. Know where you stand, get back home, and get back to work.